Hello, your community. This is Mr. Isaiah. We bring you to the camp on the go, where we will be sworn to see again after Mr. Chad went over the Sharks and Mr. Andrew going over the Dolphins. We will be going to see the lionfish. Now, when you hear lionfish, do you think of like a lion's head with the tail of a fish? Well, come on, let's go ahead and see if like exactly if we'll be seeing that or we'll be seeing a whole different image of the king of the sea. So let's come on and check out the video. Hey, it's me, Sam. How's and I'm here? here at Reef Headquarters in Key Largo, Florida, Florida ready to find out about okay. a fish Heard that's been invading anywhere. the waters. This beautiful but skilled predator will eat anything that comes in its path. The lionfish. You can't take him to nowhere. Its population is exploding, and we've got to find out why. This is where all the work happens, right here. So they've been growing over the years. All right. The lionfish is beautiful with striking features. Its population is growing here in Florida and all around the US. Native to the tropical waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, lionfish were first spotted far away from home in the Atlantic Ocean 15 years ago. It is believed that humans are responsible for the release of these fish from aquariums into the wild. These skilled predators' big appetite is impacting the health of our oceans. Dang, that means they eat too much. I'm here at Reef, the Reef Environmental Education Foundation, meeting up with Lad Atkins, the director of special projects, to find out more about this spectacular fish. Dang, that's cool yes, to have a job where you literally nice just find out more about Can you show me around? the fish. That you love. This is uh, one of our offices. Yeah. This is where all the work happens, right here. Very cool. So what is everybody doing? Well, how about if I let you come around and meet the staff? Sure. I'm Sam. Hi, I'm Amy. Nice to meet you. What are you doing? Uh, I plan dive vacations for people all over the world to go and collect fish survey data. Wow. That's super awesome. Where are you Just planning a dive a right now? For the whole world. Um, the sure next so trip we have is to Curacao, and then we are also running one to the Sea of Cortez. Oh, Those cool. Where's places. Curacao? In the Caribbean. Very neat. I see you have a little furry friend yeah, under there. Yeah, I do. This is Wimla. Oh, hi. Oh. That's a great office mate. Bring your pet to work What day. are you doing? That's cool. I manage the summer 2017 Lionfish Derby series. The Lionfish Derby is an annual event to promote lionfish education and awareness. It's a one-day competition where teens dive and snorkel to catch as many lionfish as possible. That Prizes is are awarded cool for the biggest, that you can go in the water and, and catch these fish. fish and you guys just had And you're learning right? in the same yeah, thing as, as if it's school. Yeah, that's it what we're trying out. Yeah, it was really fun. We had the festival in, um, with the derbies. And how many lionfish did you catch? We got 220 yesterday, so over 2,000 for the whole summer. The team here at Reef is doing such great work to educate and inspire the what community do you do with 2, to about fish the after you catch and them. protection of marine populations. I have lots of questions about the lionfish. So let's sit down with Lad to learn more. Here, you can have the seat. Okay, thanks. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's good to have you here. So can you tell me a little bit about what you do here at Reef? One of my main focuses is addressing uh, non-native species, things that don't belong where they're being found now. Okay, like the lionfish. Exactly like lionfish. How do they not belong? They're in the water. Divers first spotted lionfish off the coast of North Carolina in 2002. Since then, the population has spread to parts of the Atlantic and Caribbean, with recent estimates of 200 lionfish per acre. They stalk their prey almost anything so they grow fast to attract their attention okay. and that they Fishy, can get they might be the pigeons of the sea sometimes larger than half their own body size yeah i was just gonna ask how big is their mouth it's big wow. and and they feed with the suction just like up, grouper very much like grouper they okay sneak up close to their prey make a rapid rush forward and open the mouth at the same time that creates a vacuum Sheesh. that sucks the prey right in they don't bite it in half they don't chew it up 
It just goes. You don't want to share your whole food with that person right there. How big can lionfish get? Well, in their native range, they get to about a foot. Okay. But here, we are seeing lionfish much larger than that. Wow. Close to uh, 20 inches. Yes, they get much larger here than their native range, probably because they don't have the same pressures. They don't have predators here. They don't have parasites here. Where they don't belong in this area, it's kind of a free-for-all. And why do they have very few predators? They are very well equipped with venomous spines. And if you're a potential predator, that is not something that you want to make a meal out of. It's like okay. having spears on your body out of protection. So just something to protect them from other long, animals. Very long, very prominent spines across the back. Okay. But they also have five spines on the bottom, two up forward mm -hmm. and three back by the tail. Are all of them venomous? Luckily, lionfish are not aggressive. Okay. But they can be defensive, so they tend to stand their ground. They're quite bold because they don't have predators here. So it's great to be able to swim up and look at a lionfish, but you don't want to reach out and try to grab it or pet it. Mm -hmm. And if you're around structure, so you want to give it a little bit of distance. You mind your business, let them do them. You, you do you, and you'll be fine. Lionfish are one of the top predators in many coral reef habitats in the Atlantic Ocean. What do you do to keep their populations low? Yeah, well, what we're finding is that where people are not removing lionfish, the populations are just skyrocketing, and that's part of the problem. The Lionfish Derby is a great example of how Reef is educating the public about lionfish and getting them involved. So as scuba diver, how should we interact with lionfish in the wild? Yes, yeah, so one of the great things about divers and snorkelers is that they're able to find lionfish mm -hmm. and remove them. Okay. either by hand netting fish, and we can help protect our native marine life by removing the lionfish that don't belong here. Right, and we're allowed to, to do come that? Back it depends on where we are, but here in the Florida Keys, it's not only allowed, but it's encouraged. Only divers with a permit can catch these unwelcome fish. Probably one of our only So definitely earn your permit if you want to go ahead and catch some fish. Really lionfish, okay. to be and specific. specific. People clamor for lionfish. Lionfish are venomous, but not poisonous to eat once the spines are removed and the meat is prepared. Many restaurants are adding this People tasty delicacy that? to their menu in efforts to spread awareness about this species. The more we study about lionfish, the more we learn I'm and the more effective we can be in our removal. Chicken or lion. I had such a great time <laughs> learning lots about lionfish with Lad. They're an impressive species because they can eat anything that fits into their mouth. They're also invasive because they're not native to the Atlantic Ocean. This majestic predator has found itself far away from home, creating major impacts on its new habitat and the wildlife in it. So we have to do our job, like Lad and his team, to promote awareness and control the lionfish population. See you next time on What Sam Sees. All right, see you, Sam. Okay, so with the appreciation of Sam, we were able to learn a lot about the lionfish. Who knew that it didn't look anything like a lion? But at the same time, seeing how it was a, a kind of like a king of the sea, taking control and now expanding down south, close to Florida and the Atlantic Ocean. So definitely check it out and also check out the programs that you might be able to explore in the sea and learn about them at the same time. So thank you. Appreciate you for tuning in. And can't wait to continue to show you more on the Animal Kingdom of Camp on the Go with your community. Last two episodes, we had Mr. Chad. Who brought the dolphin or oh, dang the sharks? Oh, all right. So now to see if we can travel to the sea again and see the king of the sea. That's a lot of seas. <laughs> That's a lot of seas. Ah. Goodbye.